Welcome back. Our next story is about Glenn Coffey Jr., a former NFL running back that decided to leave the game behind after just one season, simply because he heard God tell him to. Well, years later, I caught up with Glenn to find out if he had any regrets, what he's been doing over the years, and his latest venture. Take a look. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? For Glenn Coffey Jr., it's a verse that helps explain why after just one season in the NFL, he decided to walk away. I just wasn't happy, and, and I just wasn't happy. And I knew if I wasn't getting paid that paycheck, I wouldn't be playing. Mm. And that's when I really was like, hmm, so I guess I just won't play anymore. Two years prior, Glenn was a star running back out of the University of Alabama. There, he became a Christian with a mission to glorify God on the field. I was on fire for Christ, and so I was just, every time somebody tried to tackle me, I was like, bro, you trying to, you trying to hold me back from my ministry, so I'm about to, I'm about to punish you. I'm about to, I'm about to punish you. And that's how, I, and, and you know, I had a good season. And after that season, I was at a crossroads, because it was like, stay another year at Bama or go to the NFL. I didn't want to play football anymore, so I figured if I get paid to play, I'll tolerate it. Reluctantly, Glenn entered the 2009 NFL Draft and was selected by the 49ers. He showed much promise during his rookie season as a backup to Frank Gore. But even with the money and lavish lifestyle, he wasn't happy. I told you um, I was going to tolerate paying, playing football because of the money. Having money is one thing, but when you mix fame with it, you run around doing what you want. You know, All right, I was walking around with five grand in my pocket. You know, I go to the mall, spend two, three grand, and, and maybe not even wear all the clothes or the shoes. You know, and it took me going through, I want to say, eight or nine months or so to where I was really like, dang, what, what, what am I really doing? The 49ers had big expectations for Glenn heading into the 2010 season. But during training camp, Glenn had a change of heart because he didn't like who he was becoming. I would wake up every morning with this thought on my head and I couldn't shake it. You young, you rich, and you handsome, right? And so all of a sudden I was getting this confidence, but it wasn't coming from me or the God, it was coming from the money. It was coming from me being in the NFL. And so that's when I was like, man, something got to shake because I'm changing. And I see myself changing spiritually. When you look at yourself in the mirror, what did you see? Man, a shell, a shell. Three weeks before the start of the season, Glenn couldn't shake the feeling that his life was headed in the wrong direction. So without warning, he decided to announce his retirement from the NFL. I knew then that uh, I had to make a change, and I had four years on my contract. I signed on the dollar line, and uh, it just eventually I just I just quit, man. I, and people say retire, but I got to call a spade a spade. I quit, you know. I quit on my word, on my contract, on, on, on my name, you know. Soon after his retirement, Glenn got a call from Glenn Coffey Sr., who heard the news while at work. I was at work. And one of my lawyer buddies called me, and uh, he said, man, in, uh, I'm watching CNN, and your son is announcing his retirement from the 49ers. And when he said that, I was discombobulated. I, you know, I, I thought I was going to pass out. I was, my emotions were all over the place. I was mad. I was angry. I was worried. It was totally uncharacteristic. I'm like, I'm like, what is going on? You know, because he didn't talk to me about it. He did not talk to me about it, right? Uh, but uh, but I'm but uh, I'm glad he didn't talk to me about it because I probably would have tried to <laughs> convince him <laughs> not, but um, not to retire. But when I heard about it, I called him. I called him, and I was like, Glenn, are you all right? And he was like, yeah, dad, I'm good. And I was like, well, I was like, what happened, man? He was like, man, dad, you know, I was in the locker room last night in the practice field, and God came and started pointing to my heart. And then all of a sudden, I felt this warm, peaceful, satisfying feeling, like I didn't have a worry in the world. Glenn stated to the media that he was retiring because he believed God had a different path for his life. Looking back, he says he probably should have handled it differently. I talked a lot about how I felt like God told me to do it, right? And I'm not saying I don't feel that way now, but when I look back, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should have did a little bit more explaining to why I felt the way I felt instead of just putting it all on him. 
And I put it all on him because he tells us to do that. And so I did put it on his shoulders, but I knew I was doing it out of fear too, out of fear for what people would say, you know, and I didn't want to go into depth about why I quit. Uh, and I know it's, it's easy to look back in your life and on, past, and on the past and say, I would have did this and did that, but I really would have just, on my heart, just said, I just didn't want to play football anymore, you know, and maybe just be a little bit more honest as far as my feelings instead of just putting it all on him. Glenn's initial plan after retiring was to go into ministry, but instead, he spent the next four years shuffling between speaking engagements and playing video games. The guy told me to retire, and he told me to preach his word. I didn't really live up to that. I didn't. And when I quit, I, I went home and played Call of Duty for two and a half years, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and I, I, I dropped the ball. You could be 30 years old in the NFL with $10 million in the bank and be a kid, and be a kid. Uh, and that's kind of how it was for me. So when I quit the league, I had too much pride to go get a regular job. A regular job, you see what I'm saying? Right, the yeah. words I'm using, right? I had too much pride to go get a job. In 2013, Glenn enlisted in the Army as an Army Ranger. After four years, the desire to play football returned. But hamstring injuries and age prevented him from being signed. Do you regret ever leaving? I, I don't regret leaving because I am who I am because I left. Mm. You know, and I felt like if I would have stayed and had a 10-year successful career, that I still would have went through everything I went through from leaving, but it just would have took longer. After much time in prayer, the Lord revealed a new path for Glenn that led him here. BDA Farm, 6,000 acres of organic farming in Alabama's Black Belt Prairie. So Glenn, when you're in here, man, what's the difference between being in here and you know, being in the football world? Uh, it's just, it's, it's calming, man. You know, the object is not to, to defeat your opponent. Well, I mean, you do have opponents. You got bugs and you got weather and stuff like that, but those opponents are, 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 are God. They're nature, they're natural. Um, and so the challenges are a lot different. You know, on a football field, you're trying to win a game. But here, and here, you're trying to not just sell a product, but you, you're trying to feed people you know, good food, good quality food. And so it's just a whole different, you're trying to win, but in the process of winning, there's a lot of peace, there's a lot of fulfillment, and there's just a lot of, uh, it's just real, it's just, it's just real. It's, you know. You've gone from recognizing how to break down defenses to being able to tell which of these crab tomatoes are ripe yeah. <laughs> to eat by looking at this, which, which one of these, I guess, if there is one, is, is ripe enough to eat? Um, probably, you can eat all of them. But if you wanted to taste good, probably probably that one right there. Right here, yeah. like this is good. Uh-huh. It is good. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow, it is really good. Glenn and his father, Glenn Sr., recently released a book entitled, There's More to Life Than the Pursuit of Money, where they chronicle Glenn's journey and lessons learned. These days, he's working to establish his own organic farm one day. In the meantime, he's learning as much as he can from nature and from following the Lord. Being here has really calmed me down, and, and I was trying to be a kid, man. I'm trying to remember that I got a daddy up there who's really like, I got you, you know? Like, I understand you, thank you, growing. I understand you, you want to do this and do that, but if it ain't without me, then you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> 